beauty pageants. Um, if you're watching this and you're actually in a beauty pageant, I wish you all the looks. I wish you heart filled and joy. Um, let's see what this. Um, it's really different from. I'm just gonna start for the basics and skip down. Um, you can skip wherever your favorite part or whatever your part is. So I'm gonna start at the top. Basics. Your age group is always going to be different. What you're going to look like and what they're going to look like. And, you know, if they, if you see this girl and she looks way cuter than you, don't let that be on yourself. You are beautiful no matter what. And, you know, people that are overweight are just, just have weight. It's, seriously. It, that's just, you know, women that are overweight actually make more money than actually skinny people it's not because they're just it's they're, they're passionate they make everybody feel better because you know I just I hate when see people saying that they're calling themselves fat it hurts me you know so like if you're fat and you're at a beauty pageant I wish you all the much luck and which is the luck of everybody else because you're gonna do the exact same that anybody else because who you are is who you are and if you don't like that then you can change yourself because it's if you are and if everybody's trying to stop you from who you really are there's gonna be a there's gonna be some challenge there um it's it's really sad but just be just be yourself um like some of the questions they'll probably ask you is probably like because how mine's set up is like you know you go there for you go hey, the very first day you know, and it takes like forever. You know, they sign you in and everything. And they say, what's your three hobbies? And most of them don't do this. Mo I don't know. Most of them do this. But they'll ask you a question. Mine said, what's your favorite hobby? So there's three hobbies. Um, I'll put doing videos myself and inspiring people. That's one of my hobbies. And art. Because the reason why, I, I mean, I'm not very good at art person. I really suck at it. I really don't know why we put art. But my mom actually found out that even, she said that it shows creativity and everything like that. So, like, that's, it's just so much better. So, and second, oh, actually, I don't know where I'm at. I'm just going to watch this. Um, so, anyways, um, it's, and also, um, um, if you just, I have mine is casual and, um, formal. Um, I don't necessarily know what you could wear for casual, but I know what you can wear for formal. Um, okay, so this was my, um, aunt's wedding dress. But now I'm using it for my pageant. If you go to my spinning wedding dress, you click that in, and you will find... It and it's really pretty, and are you just gonna look on more videos and stuff like that? It'd be cool too. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, I'm not done yet. Oh, if I'm like, what's the question? Hey, oh, yeah, so I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm like all crazy and stuff. Um, number one, though, you know, you sign in. I already said that you're gonna ask you three questions, or maybe even more. The last, you know, you're all right, you know, it's all that. And they go in and they tell you some information and everything that you're gonna need. And you'll, you'll get through that. I don't want to tell you everything. Um, and then you get an email um, and a letter saying if you are um, if you are going to pageant, you are accepted. If you're not accepted, then you're still going to get an email saying that you weren't accepted. But if you're not accepted, listen to this. That is one, one, one person. Of what person, of what people think, and just because they think that doesn't mean that other people will think that. Now, there's a lot of pageants out there. From what one person says, you can't just give up on that. No, you can't give up. And you work so hard for the money and everything. You know, it just it's so hard. But if you don't get accepted, you don't have to pay anything. If you are accepted, you have to pay five hundred dollars. Um. But man, listen to this. If you're not accepted, that is... Okay, sorry, one minute. I have tornado warnings out here. 
Okay, it's a chip, Lisa. Um, you know, sorry. Um, but listen to this. It's one, one little person. Don't let that overcome yourself. You're stronger than that. You can fight the power. You are probably beautiful. And even if you're not beautiful, you're still beautiful. Everybody has their own unique way. Everybody is beautiful. And they're intelligent. They have their own personality, which is probably heart meaningful. Even if you're stubborn, mean, and a bully, you have your nice ways. You are still beautiful no matter what. And if you're a little chubby and, you know, you just don't feel confident in yourself, then this can make you even more confident. And just to let you know, just one person is telling you this. That person doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you tried. And that's the best thing that you could ever give. And, you know, that's just, it's, it's really, it's something that is very inspiring. You should keep that going and that word going for a really long time. Because it doesn't matter what one person thinks. It doesn't matter what five million people think. And just because they think it doesn't, and then you don't think it, but then you start thinking it because of what some people say. No. Because there's this one person that she totally broke down because she didn't make it. And she it just really said, I didn't want to see that to happen to anybody else. So, listen, it's, it's, it's for the best if you don't make it. If you do make it, congratulations. And also, making friends in pageants. Yeah, you know, you can make friends and stuff. Just watch out, though. Because some people, I mean, it, you probably don't think that we'll do that. Do you, she might think she's nice. Or he. But listen to this. Well, they could stab you in the back. If you hear something they, and you feel really bad for them and stuff, maybe it won't work as hard. That way all the friendship and stuff is getting in your way and you're like, oh my god. But it's good to make friends, you know? It's good to share that whole entire love. Even if you don't win the pageant, you still win the experience. And you still want people to like you instead of being called a girl that never talks and stuck up and snobby. You want to be true to yourself. I mean... And sometimes you just have to live with those people that are mean, hateful, and nauseous, and vicious. Trust me, I had to go through it too. It's not so easy. Um, I've learned a lot of things. And, and I will have part two up in maybe, uh, maybe October or December. And that was why I haven't been through a pageant yet, but I've heard a lot, a lot of comments on it. And I've had cousins going there. I've had a lot of stuff. And I've heard a lot of advice and everything. And I've been in a pageant before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but this is my first pageant. And it, my, my cousin's been in five. Five. She tells me everything. So when she tells me this stuff, I still remember because we just talked about it. I just want to make a video. And also, dresses. Um, you probably want to do the right length size. You don't want to do it where it's dragging on the floor because you don't want to trip. Your high heels, if your dress is too long, get a higher high heel. If you can't walk in high heels, make sure you practice your high heels. You don't want to look like a, you don't want to gallop because then you look like a horsey. And you just look plain retarded. So make sure you work on that. Um, also, um, for casual wear. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, casual wear, I'm not really sure what casual wear. Um, I'll probably make a part. Like I said, I mean, part three will come out in December, October. And part two will come out maybe November. Um, but yeah. I don't know yet. Um, it just depends whenever it comes out, it comes out. Um, so yeah. Um, you probably want to get your nails done and your toes done. Um... Yeah, and also you probably want to get your hair cut, just like the dead ends and stuff, just to make sure it looks healthy and beauty. Um, you need your makeup done if you're older, if you're in like the 13 um, up or stage, or maybe you can be the 12 stage, it doesn't matter. Some people just want that beauty delicious. If you just, you know, kind of just bare skin, it depends. If you're having a natural look, you're having a fancy look, you're having 
a uh, goth look, a uh, cheer look, um, I don't know. So it really depends. Um, like I said, um, it's really hard. And if you don't win, don't say it's not a, just a waste of money. Everybody will not. Like, see this. It wouldn't be a competition if everybody got a crown. Now would it? It would be no sense of paying $500 if everybody got a crown. And you get money, you get a crown, everything like that. Look, that wouldn't be a competition. There's going to be um, your number one winner, and there's going to be like 34th and, you know, stuff like that. But it's just, it's okay. It's going to be alright. Um, you just try your hardest, and if even if you don't want anything, just know this. You tried, and that's all that matters. Okay? That's all that matters. So, you go kick some butt out there, and you try your hardest, and I will see you later, beauties. And men, if you are watching this. Moms out there, you know, if you have a daughter, or you have a son that's in it, um... Just make sure they know that they're true to themselves and that they know what they're doing and that they walk on their walk, how, how they walk, walk in their high heels correctly or how they're supposed to walk. Make sure you get that down. Make sure you get down. You're not so nervous. But it doesn't really matter if you're that nervous. Just don't freeze there and like sweat and, you know, stay there for like two minutes until they order you off stage. And also... You also want to come, uh, actually do a pace, but not too fast, not too slow. When you get on the stage, don't uh, go speed up really fast and then slow down. Keep it at a steady pace and keep that and keep that um, pace. That's all. So basically, that is really all that I have for y'all. Keep that pace. Make sure you do, and that's all I have for you, ladies. Or men. Yeah. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any comments, you I will be delightful to answer them. If I didn't cover on a certain thing that you wanted, I will definitely cover it this time. So, thank you, and, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, one more thing before you go home. Hair dyeing. Well, you probably don't want, like, a different color than, like, a natural hair color, like, if it's red or something, like, I mean, that's, it's red. Come on, everybody can be born with bloodshot red hair. People can be born with bloodshot hair. Trust me, I've seen it. But, like, purple, blue, I mean, sometimes when you have a blonde, when you're blonde or something, I, you can't really see it because it's so dark right now. But I am a blonde and a redhead. Um, I have sometimes when I get in chlorine, sometimes my head so it's turn a little bit green. Don't worry, you just wash your head a couple of times and it'll be right out. And if it's still like that, check with your hairdresser or check with your parents and they'll probably know what to do. You probably have to put highlights in them, then what who. But if you want to do like that spray thing and then like do it with that, that's cool too. Spray tans, you probably want to spray tan if you're white like me and you have a really bad tan line. If you're wearing like a dress that has like a thing, you want to make sure that it's even skin color. Um, yeah, that's really all, and I hope that I wish you all of luck. Mwah.